What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. In this video, I want to talk about Fanger. The news that just came out about Fanger uh, a couple days ago, but I just seen the article. Um, and how it applies to AMC. And the slide that I'm working on for a video for y'all right now. And how it applies to what I just read about Fanger. But right now I want to take a look at Something that I heard about in the Discord. There's a link down below and pinned to the comments if y'all want to join. It's only $3. Come in the community, interact with us, share your thoughts and your questions. I are here on Access Wire. I found Finger Motion retains law firms to investigate recent market activity. All right, this was Access Wire, October 28, 2022, at 7 o'clock. A mobile data and services company announced that its board of directors after carefully reviewing the trading history of its common stock from September 1st to 2022 to present believes that the company may have been the target of a market manipulation scheme involving naked short selling of fictitious shares of its common stock that were neither authorized nor issued by the company. In order to preserve the value of its shareholders' equity, the company has retained Christian Levine Law Group and Warsaw Bernstein LLP. These firms, during the past 22 years, have successfully prosecuted and collected millions of dollars in damages on behalf of their clients from broker-dealers, market makers, hedge funds, and asset-based lenders who have engaged in market manipulation schemes. Fanger Motion Incorporated intends to thoroughly investigate and aggressively prosecute any party that attempts to manipulate the market price of the company's shares and will spare no expense in prosecute, protecting the rights and interests of its shareholders. But I'm bum. Now, Fanger just did that. And as I was reading that article, and I'm reading what the Discord's response to it is. I'm like, no, this can't be. This can't be. Because my next slide is the way to spot a shield sleeper agent. All right. Now, a sleeper agent is, say, a terrorist that comes from another country. They live in this country. They're your next door neighbors and so forth. You never know who they are. They go to work every day. They have kids in the school. And then all of a sudden, one day, Something happens and they're triggered and they become the terrorists that they are meant to be. You've seen Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I think that was the plot of that movie or something like that. But anyway, the point is this. Look at what number three was on my list. I typed this. They will turn you against authority is the number three way to spot a shield sleeper agent. All right, and it applies right here because if you think about it, people use logic and use reasoning. And if I would have started this video out with this article right here from the Motley Fool, if you've been in this play long enough, then you know right off the bat, ain't even got to look at no more. Motley Fool, FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. That's all they put out about AMC and GME. And now eight. All right. But it's obvious, isn't it? We've grown accustomed to Motley Fool puts out nothing but FUD articles. But then we look right here and you read this article and it's the same shit, people. All right. This article by Access Wire about Fanger Motion retaining law firm to investigate recent market activity is FUD. Okay. I know. Wait. This is exactly what we want Adam Aaron to do. That's the first thing you need to understand. Is that every word in this article was written to strike emotion into the shareholders of AMC, GME, and the other stocks. Fanger Motion intends to thoroughly investigate and aggressively prosecute any party that attempts to manipulate the price, market price of the company's shares and will spare no expense 
protecting the rights and interests of its shareholders. This is what we wish our, our CEO would say, right? That's the purpose of the letter, um, the purpose of the article. The purpose of this article, this is a set up to make us doubt Adam Aaron's leadership, to cause fear that he's not really interested in shareholders' best interest. And uncertainty, rather, he's got our best interest at heart or not. So, that you can understand that simply because Adam Aaron hasn't told us personally in a letter or a press release or an article such as this that he's on top of the job, people do not doubt your authority that's above us. If you disagree with the CEO, sell your shares. You don't want to be a part of it. But listen to what he had to say. The last time we saw GTII, their CEO had written market makers and requested that they review their market making activities in GTII shares. We're going to get to that letter in just a minute, but basically he threw down the law and he said, motherfuckers, we know what you've been doing. You know what you've been doing. You better get out now. Now, first off, on June 23rd, 2022, let's talk about the letter that their CEO sent to market makers requesting a review of their marketing activity in GTII shares. All right, and here's the press release informing their shareholders of that letter and it says global tech industries group requests review of market making activities dated june 23rd global tech industries group a nevada corporation announced today that it has written to market makers requesting that they review their market making activity in gtii shares he says if you continue in these market manipulation then you will be called into question whether you are engaging in bona fide market making and can avail themselves to any locate exemptions afforded by two bona fide market makers when executing short sales. Basically, what he just told them was, if you continue doing what you're doing, you're not going to be able to claim to be a market maker because you're going outside the law when what you're doing now he also said you're not going to be able to be protected by the bona fide market making exemptions rule because there are times when they can make it short a sale when they have the direct intention or they believe that they can put their hands on that stock and something just fell through that's a short exemption well, they said, you're not going to be able to claim that because we're putting you on notice. We know that what you're doing is illegal and we're coming after you. That's what he's saying right here. I love this CEO, man. He is badass. Now, back to the chart and let's talk about the connection between AMC and what the CEO there just did. Listen to this. Miracle 2. We put out a press release on Monday, January 25 of 2021 that said, we made it. We raised a billion dollars and like bankruptcy's off the table and we're fine. Tuesday night, around six o'clock in after hours trading, apes arrived and our stock started to explode. And on the Wednesday, January 27th, of last year, our stock went from $5 a share to $20 a share in one day. And we traded on the New York Stock Exchange uh, more shares than I know how to count. Uh, at the time, we had 100 million shares outstanding. Total, it's a total share count. And 50 million of them were in the pocket of one large institutional holder who was not trading stock. So we really only had 50 million shares that traded 
on that one day, that day that our stock quadrupled, on that one day, we traded 1,250,000,000 shares in a day. We only had 50 million shares that traded at all. And they turned over like 25 times. Now, bring your attention back to the article that Access Wire has done about finger motion, okay? And what is they saying? After carefully reviewing the trading history of its common stock from September 1st, 2022 to the present, believes that the company may have been the target of a market manipulation scheme involving naked short selling of fictitious shares of its common stock that were neither authorized nor issued by the company. Now, you just heard what Adam Aaron had to say. And he said basically the same thing. He lays out days where he's tracked the trading history of this stock. He knows what's going on. Articles like this is to simply strike our emotions and to make us angry at him and doubt the plan that he's having. And I don't believe we should do that. I'm in the stock. I have to do what the authority that's in position right now. And if, if by the time we feel as if enough's enough and it's time to replace him, perhaps, maybe that's open for discussion later. But at the moment, no. You don't get mad at your CEO right now. You don't change your CEO right now because any attempt to remove Adam Aaron from the CEO position to put anybody else there could be construed as us attempting to manipulate the market just like they charged Patrick with from Overstock. So you got to be careful with that kind of stuff. If you're in this stock, trust your CEO. A lot of us can see the plan. They're going to have to have a vote to put ape back into that fucking AMC and it ain't gonna fit so relax I know we live in a microwave generation and we want it now and we've been waiting a while for it and a lot of us need it now but he's got a plan people trust him love y'all be blessed and I'm putting together the rest of that video for you on how to spot a shield sleeper agent Love y'all. Be blessed. See you in the next video.